Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Have I got some good news for you today? I just got the latest update of uh, Luminar AI Beta, and it said the gold master on the update. So I'm assuming this could be the one that gets uh, sent out to all of us, you know, on the release date. I'm not 100% sure, but it just might be that version. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to look at a bunch of different uh, templates today and we're going to make some adjustments, but I just wanted to really pique your interest and get you excited about the Luminar AI release. Now, if this is truly the final version, this will be the uh, version we'll all be using. Now, I don't see Boca AI in there yet, and this is the one I'm most interested in, the, the new Boca AI, but hopefully by its release, it'll be there. And also, guys, uh, please uh, like and share this video. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow and subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon as well. And without any further ado, let's get started. Well, here it is, Luminar AI, the Golden Master. It is here. Let's take a look at it today. We're looking at this uh, stock image here, this beautiful portrait, and let's run Luminar AI through the paces. Right now I'm in the template mode, as you'll notice right here, and there's also an edit mode and you can export your image when you're finished here, okay? So I'm gonna start out in the template mode. Now I think most people will start out in the template mode, unless you're like an experienced photo editor and you're not into that whole template or look thing. You may just wanna go right to it yourself and do your own edits, so you would go right to edit. And when you do, you're gonna see all your different editing tools over here in different groups with uh, Essentials, Creative, Portrait, and Pro Tools, okay? But a lot of people, like I said, will start out in templates. And again, Luminar AI will examine your image for you, make a lot of different determinations upon it, and it will suggest you different templates. Now, you'll notice up here it says for this photo, and you'll notice I have monochrome, uh, a group of monochrome templates or a collection of monochrome templates, uh, experimental. It's suggesting experimental looks for this image. And it's uh, suggesting this uh, collection called Essence. But we'll take a look at these, but we'll start out with monochrome. All right, let's start in monochrome. I'm gonna click this and we have these five different templates here. Let's try Elegant Matte. And that's really pretty. Here's Soulful. Now, a lot of people, they're just going to click on a template, they're going to like it, and they're going to be done. So Luminar AI could be very fast and efficient for us. Okay, here's Film Grain. All right, here's Lighthouse. Very nice, and here's Low Key. One thing I do want to point out here is that the templates are loading up a lot quicker. They seem to be a little sluggish on the, on the previous beta versions, but on this Golden Master, they seem to be a lot quicker, and that is good news. Let's check out some more templates, and now let's go to Experimental, Burn Film, Celebrate. That's beautiful. I really like that in this image. Here's Cold Frame. Not bad. Color Ramp. Little splashes of color in here. Looks like some little reds and maybe some purples, along with a black and white. Really nice. Here is Glow. I've seen this one look really nice on other images, but on this image, it's hitting right on her forehead, a lot of light there, so it's not working on this one. Feather light, and that looks pretty cool. Let's see some more here. Let's go to the last group that they suggest for us, and that's Essence, the Essence Collection. And they give you a little description here, too, on these uh, collections. Running the gamut between advertising, glam, eye-catching fashion, and fine art portraits. Express your subjects. True Essence. Well, let's see what it looks like. Here's Still Frame. Yeah, that's nice. Here's Marquee. Fashionista. And as I said, these are loading up a lot quicker. Here's Rembrandt. Now, I love Rembrandt. That is beautiful. That might be the one I would choose for this one. Now, here's Flawless. Normally, I would hurry along, but hey, this is the Golden Master, and I want you guys to get a really good idea of what this is going to be like. So let's go back to templates here. Now, these are the suggested ones we just looked at under For This Photo. But let's go down and look at some other ones that may work here under Portrait. Uh, let's see, we can go see all, and I think there's only the four in here, but there's, we saw experimental and essence and monochrome. Let's look at easy portraits. Okay, here's high key, tack sharp, fade, vignette, and low key. 
All right, let's go back and let's see what else we want to look at. Okay, we don't want to look at macro, but let's look at cinematic. I think there's just two in here. There's blockbuster feature film look. So let's check this one out. Emulate the colors and lights of your favorite blockbusters with this unique pack of creative extras for your photos. And I'm sure uh, Luminar will be selling us uh, templates. What do you think? On to the next template, Film Noir. Now that one's really nice. Beyond the Wall. Mm, I like that one too. Teal and Orange. That famous Teal and Orange movie look here. Shanghai. Cyberpunk. Wow, she's got some... Whoa, that eye just popped out there. That's not working for me, but hey, maybe for some it might. Here's Speedway. Okay, so that's Blockbuster. Let's take a look at Big Screen. Okay, and this one's soft atmospheric photos that could be still frames from a feature film. All right, Travelogue. Now, that's really nice. That's a nice look. I like it. Here's Softbox. Okay. Here's Bar Noir. I do like that one. That's an elegant black and white look there. Here's Sunshine. Nice. Dark Forest and Cold Frame. Okay. Is there any other templates we wish to look at here? Let's take a look at the lifestyle group. Now, we've already seen Influencer, but not Filmatic or Urban Style yet. Let's take a look at those two, starting out with Filmatic. Matt Noir, Quirky Mo, Nostalgic Haze, not bad, Cold Fire. Here's Comfort Mood and Textured Noir. And let's try Urban Style. I just really want to give you guys a really run through on some of these uh, templates because a lot of people will be working from these templates. Old Town, Edinburgh, Toronto, Melbourne. I guess the flavor of these cities is in the image here. Abbey Street and New York. All right. Is there any other ones in here? Of course, Ariel. Now, you could try any of these on here. I mean, just because it says Ariel, does that mean you can't try it? Absolutely not. Try it. Let's try it. Let's see what it does. Here's Subtle. Solemn. <laughs> and these work, too. Neon Skyline. Now, that doesn't work. Here's Retro. That could work. And here's Supreme. Man, that one doesn't work. But I like, I like Retro. That's pretty cool. But again, just because they, you know, they don't, uh, they're not necessarily for a portrait, you can still try them out. Let's try Natural Skies. After Hours, Crack of Dawn, not bad. Dreamscape Noir, I like that. Morning Dew, nice. And Silken Skies. So, as you can see, you can actually use these. And if you need to get more templates, you can go here. Let's click on this here. And all your categories are down below here. But let's click this and see what happens. And looky here, we are led to the Luminar Marketplace. Now, right now, it says uh, signature looks, and we have all these different things we can get, like skies and sky objects, LUTs, and things like that. But right now, it says Luminar 4 here, but I'm sure that once Luminar AI is released, it'll bring us here, and here we can purchase templates. And now let's get back to the editing. Let's go back up to the top. There was one up here I wanted to use under for this photo, and I think it was in Essence. And let's still frame, Marquee, no. Fashionista, no. And Rembrandt, yes. Now, I've seen Rembrandt on different images, and I really didn't like it so much. But on this one, boy, does it look beautiful. I really, really love it. I think it looks really great. Here's the before and here's the after. What do you think? It just sparkles. And, I, you know, I could call this thing done right now. It looks really great. But let's move on a little bit here and say, for instance, you like this. You could be done right now. Or you could say, you know, I want to do a few little things to it. So let's go to edit. One thing I think I'd like to do would be to change the composition a little bit. We're in the essentials group. And here's composition right here, which is a fancy name for cropping. So click that and click on composition and artificial intelligence will say, hey, this is a composition that we recommend. Now, you don't have to accept that. I'm going to keep the uh, aspect ratio, the original aspect ratio here. In fact, no, I'm not. Let me go. Let's try an 8 by 10, which would be a 4 by 5. That'd be an 8 by 10. 
And again, that's what it suggests for us. I might just move it this way a little bit. Maybe something, something like around there. Yeah, it looks good. And I'll just type my return key and let's see what we think. Okay, good. Was doing a little jumping there, but it straightened itself out. All right, I like that composition. Looks really good. All right, what else do we want to do to this? I think I definitely want to add a vignette to this for sure, but also I want to point out anytime you see these little dots next to a tool, that means they've worked with these adjustments. And then if you click on, on an adjustment like Enhance AI, you can see they bumped the Accent AI up to a 50. Now you can go and alter any of their adjustments, but they worked with Enhance AI, Color, Denoise, and Light. Okay, and they also and also you'll see under the under the tabs here, like for instance, the creative tab has a little dot next to it. That means there's adjustments made in there and under portrait and under pro adjustments that have been made. So let's see. Let's go under the creative and we can see they use the mood tool here, which it used to be called the uh, lookup table or the LUT tool in Luminar 4, but now it's called Mood, and they used a, uh, a LUT called Rembrandt in there. And what else did they use? Uh, they used Glow. Okay, so they used the Soft Focus on here. Let me shut that off, and you can see. Here's the before, and here's the after. Now let's take a look in the uh, portrait group here, and you can see they use Face AI, Skin AI, and High Key. And under the Pros section, they use some Optic, uh, the Optic Tool, Super Contrast, and Color Harmony. But I want to go ahead and uh, add a vignette to this because I think this image is done. It's really beautiful. And I think it's really, there's not anything else for us to do here in my uh, humble opinion. So let's go back to Essentials and click Vignette. And I'm just going to pull this back. And, uh, you know, I don't want that porthole look, but that's kind of cool, actually. But let's go ahead and adjust this. We can work with the size here. And then if you open up the advanced settings, we can adjust the roundness of the vignette. Maybe something like, yeah, that's that's doing it for me. Somewhere around there, we can adjust the feathering. And if you pull your feathering the whole way into the left, you can actually see where that uh, what that vignette is doing and where the shape is. And don't forget, you have the choose subject here as well. So you can click it like, I'll click it right here on our face. Maybe a little bit lower, but you can see that. You know, when you pull that, when you pull that uh, feather back, you can actually see the shape. So that's a good little tip. And that feather looks good right about there. And then we have this inner light. I love this. It lightens up the center of the vignette. So I'm going to pull it to the right and watch how beautiful this is going to make this image look. It's going to make our model's face just really light up and bring our eyes right to her, which is what we want to see. But here's the before the vignette, and here's the after the vignette. Isn't that beautiful? And Luminar AI helped us get to the final result very quickly. Well, there it is. There's a look at the Golden Master Luminar version 1.0.0. I'm really happy with it. I think it's great. I hope I gave you enough uh to whet your appetite today. I wanted to really take some time to show you some of the templates and things like that, but... As you can see, I think Luminar AI will speed up your workflow. Let me let me know what you think in the comments. I'd really like to hear from you. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.